Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I put a picture out a couple weeks ago and a lot of you asked about some easy hair tutorials for the chronically ill or just those that aren't used to doing their own hair to make it look cute and also have it really easy. So today's tutorial is going to be a five minute bubble braid. If you see pictures of hairstyles you really like online, 99% of the time they have extensions in them. Now extensions are fine, but when you are sick or don't have the time or energy, you're not going to put extensions in your hair. I do not have really thick hair, so I like to put my hair up in a bun, help it be volumized the night before. This hairstyle is easiest to do on hair that's not been washed the same day. My hair was washed the day before I did this. Honestly, two days is probably the best to get the most volume. So what you're gonna need for this hairstyle are ponytails, you can do black or clear, a wide tooth brush, a curling iron if you'd like, as well as hairspray. I like to brush my hair with a wide tooth comb. Always start combing your hair at the bottom so you don't pull as hard or cause breakage you can use products. I don't usually use products because of toxins in them. They do have toxic free products you can use as well. Now is when I would do a little hairspray. Then I get another wide tooth comb and do a very light amount of teasing so I don't cause any breakage. Again, if you have product in your hair, this tease will hold really well. It will also make it tease a lot more and give you more volume. But again, today I'm not using any products in my hair because I know a lot of my chronically ill friends, they don't use products either. So the first thing you're gonna do is take a section of your hair, use your ponytail, and wrap it around twice. Then you're gonna add two more sections, wrap it around that ponytail, put a new ponytail in it, wrap it around twice. You're actually gonna just keep doing this all the way down your hair. You can do small sections or big sections depending on the type of look you're going for. I've done it small and I've done it big and I like it both ways. After I've done a couple, I start the pancaking process which is pulling out little bits of hair from the sides of each ponytail. So you can make this look as clean or as messy as you'd like. I like it kind of messier, so I'm not being super particular. For this look, I'm leaving quite a bit of hair at the bottom because I'm gonna use that at the end. Like to hide your ponytail there's a really easy way to do that after you've put your last ponytail in you can take part of the hair wrap it around and then on the back part of the ponytail pull it out and pull it through again this is just kind of an extra fun step but not necessary it also helps give the bottom of my hair a little bit more volume because those two pieces are separate and then I go back through and pancake some more pull out my hair and then I am going to show you how to do a little bit of curling. Now if you do hairspray this would be when you would hairspray it. I then take my curling iron, wait about five seconds just to give it a little extra at the bottom. I take the hair on the other side that I pulled out, do the same thing. It's a little thinner so I'd count a little faster this time. You can do as little or as much hair out as you want. And then there you have it. Sometimes the more you pull, you might get gaps. I tend to get a gap by my ear. All you have to do to fix that is use a bobby pin. It also makes it a little easier to continue pancaking. You can just play with it how you'd like. You can keep it tight. You can continue to pancake it out. 
very easy five minute hairstyle. You can do it with or without products as well as with or without heat. Now enjoy your really cute, fast and easy bubble braid.